Today we're going to talk about selecting and configuring a 1761 CBL PMO2 to communicate with an Allen Bradley Micrologics VLC. The Micrologics 1000, 1100, 1400, and 1500 all use the same cable. We have three versions of this cable. A serial version with a straight connector on both ends, a serial version with a 90 degree connector on the end that connects to the Micrologics VLC, and a USB version, which is what you'll need to connect to the Micrologics with most modern PCs. Once you have selected the proper cable, connect it to your PC and PLC and identify the COM port. If you're unsure of the COM port, see our video on finding the COM port number of your USB to serial device in Windows XP 7 and 8. Then open RS Links. If you need help downloading and installing RS Links and RS Logix, then we have a video for that also. Just browse our channel and be sure to subscribe. In RS Links, click Communications, then select Configure Drivers. Under Available Driver Types, select RS232DF1 Devices and click the Add New. Select your COM port. For the device, select SLC CH0 slash micro slash panel view, then click the auto configure button and you should see auto configuration successful. Now on the top menu bar of RS Links, go to communications and click RS Who. Select the AB DF1 driver in the left pane and in a few seconds you should see your device in the right pane. Open RS Logics 500 and from the top menu go to comms, system comms. Select the AB DF1 driver in the left pane and click your device in the right pane. From here, select OK and you are ready to go. Also, you may select online instead of OK to immediately go online or upload to upload your image out of the process. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the automation store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.